my name is Heidi Castillo. I'm from Belize. And today I'd like to speak to you about how my family business, Grandma Bees, will be able to help my community. In my community, one of the biggest obstacles we face is unemployment. I myself was unemployed for two years after completing university. I also noticed at that time there's a lack of Belizean made products available for sale in our stores. And if you do find them, it's usually by accident and there doesn't seem to be much awareness for Belizean products in our market. So my family decided that we will start a family business. We wanted a product that, that was traditionally Belizean, one that would provide employment and a source of income, and we wanted something that we could make in Belize and purchase from local suppliers. Our family makes homemade traditional Belizean fudge. We are the only ones to do so in our district. Um, our recipe is a family recipe that is a favorite among our neighbors and our friends. It also allows for variations, additions of different flavors. The peanut, wangla, coconut, and the raisins that we use are all natural. We don't add any preservatives or any artificial flavors. And all, best of all, everything that we need, all the raw materials, can be purchased locally in our district. Our target market is young adults ages 21 to 35, primarily females because most likely they'll be the ones to purchase in the grocery shops. We also want to target professionals, teachers, business people, and appeal to tourists, so people with the purchasing power in our community. For our financials, the cost per unit is 55 cents Belize to produce one. The price is 100 is one dollar and ten cents which gives us a profit margin of 50 percent and we have a monthly average profit of nine hundred and nine million dollars okay. in the coming months we plan to increase these revenues with three strategies first we want to diversify our product create a bite-sized fudge which allows us to put assorted flavors in one bag then we want to introduce a new product Belgian coconut hard candy. We already have all the raw materials and packaging supplies to make these products, so we'll increase revenue without increasing expenditure. We also plan to move out district in the Corozal, Belize, and Kaya district. Going north to Corozal, we plan to target the major grocery shops and shopping centers, then put our products to sell in the stores. Going to Belize and Kaya, we have a different strategy. We want to partner with other local business that produce traditional Belizean desserts, create a dessert platter, and market it to high-end restaurants that caters to tourists. At this time, they have traditional Belizean cuisine but offer Americanized desserts. So we see the opportunity to create a new market for ourselves rather than competing for shelf space with fudge makers, and other small business in the Belize and Kaya district. Right? And that is our plan to boost the economy in our district, um, put more Belizean products out there, and bring awareness to our small business and traditions. And since I've been talking about it, I have brought some samples. And I will <laughs> 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 to you guys, thank you for listening, and any questions? If someone spends a dollar on your or a dollar on your fudge, what would they have spent that on otherwise? Who, who are you competing with for the money? Okay, so the money, well, in the stores, it's like a dollar fifty. They sell in the stores, it's also like a dollar fifty, and we're competing with chocolates, more imported yeah. chocolates rather than other Belizean desserts, because in our district, nobody else makes it, so we're the only one to make fudge, and in Belize, the fudge doesn't have anything to do with chocolate. There's no chocolate involved in making it. Right. right. So in Belize, it's something considered different and a different treat. But also, you're, re you're replacing imports. Uh, yes, imports. We're, we're not replacing imports. They're still there, but we're giving a different option. Okay. So is your business, are you in business right now? Yes, we are in business. We've been in business for about two years. Mm -hmm. And, and you've seen growth every year. Yeah, we've seen growth. So um, our growth, we prefer controlled growth, meaning that we would target a certain shop in an area, one that most people will go and shop to. We know that our product is not a necessity. It's more a grab-and-go item. So when we approach them, we ask them to place it around the cashiers, place people see it. So when they're going, they just 
grab it and go. Right? And so that's our strategy. And we want to match the supply and demand. Supply and demand. So we start them with a small amount. And as demand increases, we increase the supply until we reach an equilibrium, where it sells out during the week without running out completely. Who else are you working with? Um, this is a family business, so I work with my family, my mother, and my sister. We are the owners and all the employees at this time. So we ho we're hoping with increase in business, we're able to offer employment to other members in our company. Do you feel like it's going to be important for you to bring someone on that is outside of family court that has business, business experience outside of your own? Yes, I believe so. Um, we do have some people in our community. They have more training with and more um, experience with preparing stuff for restaurants and desserts. Like in confectionery, it's very important for your presentation. So I think when we bring these people on, they'll have more experience and they can give us more advice. So what do you see as the top barrier to your growth? Well, the top barrier would be probably um, like putting everything together. Since you're working with different business, some people have different ideas, but we have two business that are interested in working with us. And I think it's just a matter of approaching the restaurants because the restaurants do make desserts, but like I said, they're Americanized. So we want to style this as something that they can market to their customers, to different tourists. And when they come, they want the Belizean experience. So we want to help provide that. That's not for one more question. Is the packaging um, that you have, is this the, a picture of the yes, packaging that you have? Yeah. So it's like high cellophane, um, food grade plastic. It's clarity. It's very, it has a high clarity, so, and it's very professional and very classy. So it looks something that might be imported, but it's not. And it is, it's about that size. Yeah, it's about that size. So that's kind of like, uh, we want to do the bite size part, something like that, but not exactly. That's so it's an impulse item more than it's a Yeah, you see it, and then you just grab it. So we want it around cashiers, like where people can see it on their way. Thank you so much.